I feel like this one deserved a video kind of life update because you may have noticed that Where's Molly has disappeared. It's the end of a chapter and the start of a whole new beautiful one. I started Where's Molly unofficially in 2013 when I went backpacking. It was just a website that I was just putting my updates on, almost like an online scrapbook. And I just evolved with the industry as it grew, as travel blogs grew. Um, I wrote for another one. I you know, traveled full time with all my cameras for uh, a couple of years before I went full time. And then I spent four or five years on the road collaborating with my dream brands and just having the time of my life and just working, working, working um, for this lifestyle. To try and summarize where I'm at, they say you travel so far, you find yourself. And I think that quote sums it up in a nutshell. When the pandemic hit, of course the travel industry was and it kind of still is two years later. And that had a pretty big effect on my travel business. I was forced to stop, to stop working, to stop traveling, to stay in one place. And when you've been on the road for six years near constantly and then you stop, you face a lot. <laughs> I also uh, went through a really difficult relationship and relationship ending. I have gone this whole identity crisis of who am I without this brand that's currently not able to thrive? It's not got the environment to thrive. Um, I lost my dog of 17 years, my best friend. Oh gosh, the universe has just like handed me all these situations which have in turn led me on the most incredible adventure within adventuring within that's the new chapter which i'll tell you about later um yeah i've just been on this huge internal awakening um and i've just gone deeper and deeper and deeper because i've had no distractions i've sat in it and sat in it and looked for the answers and and then i've begun studying i i i've begun studying conscious connected breath work i began studying the modalities that were helping me come to this beautiful place and so now I'm training and the new chapter will involve a whole section of well-being and yoga and breath work and sound healing. So many silver linings, you know, I would never have chosen for my career to stop like that. So I can only be grateful that things turned out the way they have. Ironically, when I stopped traveling, I found what I was looking for. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Coming out of that, it's been really important for me to, to honor those internal changes in my external environment and in my job and how I spend my days. And I simply don't wish to be the face of Where's Molly anymore. Where's Molly as a business was built on the Molly that went traveling and backpacking and that was searching for something. That identity is one that I'm ready to shed. In my eyes, this is the start of a whole new chapter in evolution. The website you may have noticed has rebranded from where'smolly.com to weareglobaltravelers.com. I feel weareglobaltravelers.com is kind of the merging of global travelers, the events that I've been running for four years, and Where's Molly? So it's the same site. So if you're looking for any travel guides, anything that I've ever done previously, it's still on the site. It just has a whole new look to it. It's a community. It's so much bigger than just me. And we now have a team of regular contributors so we have travelers from across the globe giving more travel guides and information than ever before. So it's actually really exciting because there is only so much that I could do by myself and now we've expanded that to create even more content. And at the same time, this enables me to step back from full-time travel, which isn't something I desire at the moment. And it allows me to begin a new adventure, which you may have seen called Adventuring Within. I just think it's important in life to keep adapting. We can't expect to stay in the same environments and for them to serve us for our entire lives. I know that with a rebrand and with change, um, there is risk. A change isn't comfortable for everyone and some people will just not be into this new chapter and not be into the rebrand and that's okay. Um, wherever you are at and whether you continue on this journey with me, um, I'm very grateful for everything leading to this point and for any support you have given me. It was simply more of a risk for me to stay living a life um, and pursuing a business that didn't feel right for me personally. I needed people to come in and help me with the jobs that came now so naturally to them whilst I step back and step into what's coming naturally for me. Sending so much love um, 
Yeah, and I really hope you join this next adventure. <laughs>